Hello there, this guide is about how to fix the blurriness nature of the first kingdom come deliverance and this is done by changing the anti-aliasing, sharpening and the texture streaming of the game. So make sure to watch till the end to make sure you have done all the steps correctly. Now the first thing we need to do is to go to where the game is installed. If you have the game on Steam, it's going to be in your C drive. Program files 86, then Steam. Steam apps, then common. If you have the game installed elsewhere, make sure to find where the game is installed for you. Now, for me, it's located right here. Once you find the games folder, you go ahead and make sure that this file name extensions is checked. You can also see the changes here. Each file is going to have an extension. You can also change it right here by making sure that this is unchecked in the folder options. After that, we go ahead and create a new text file. Then we change its name and extension to user.cfg. Make sure you have the dot. After that, you click on yes, then open it with the text editor. I'm going to use the Windows default text editor. Then we add the following. Now these lines are going to be left in the video description for you to copy and paste. You can also change the values, but these are my recommended ones to fix the blurriness. After that, we just save the file. Now, this won't be enough because now we need to make sure that the game executes this file. To do it for Steam or any launcher, you just go to the game library and find the game. Once you find the game, you just right click on it, go to properties, then launch options and add the following. Exactly as, it, as I typed it. Then, if you have the game and you don't launch it through a launcher, you can just do this with for the game shortcut in the target and just click on continue and okay here apply it now if this method doesn't work to execute the command all you can do is launch the game and once you're in the menu you can just click on the back tick button in your keyboard and type the following exec space user and that will execute all the commands as you can see here and once we launch the game the changes should take effect so hope this tutorial helped you and peace out.